My inspiration as a chef comes from specific moments. We take a lot of time in selecting the, the meats, seafoods that we use as fresh as possible and as high quality and as well treated as possible. And then I tend to hide my proteins in my dish. The overall experience I like to give my diners is a sense of adventure because we're heavily inspired and surrounded by, by nature and what's happening in the seasons and, and by the garden centre. What I find that we do well is, is sourcing those ingredients, foraging those ingredients, growing those ingredients ourselves and pairing them naturally with, with the protein. And we're able to, to get out in the, in the brisk morning air every morning at about 7.38 a.m. And, and gather wild garlic flowers, freshwater cress, um, nasturtium flowers and leaves, river mint, um, a whole lot of stuff all within a stone's throw of, of the restaurant. And yeah, I often stop on my way down to work in the mornings and, and pick you know pine needles to, to smoke and marinate things with and, and things like that as well. So it's easy to get inspiration in a place like this when you're, you're literally surrounded by the ingredients that, that you can use. Why should people come to eat at Topiary? Why shouldn't they, I guess? Not a lot of people know that we're only 20 minutes away from Norwood to start with. <laughs> it's not a long drive, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, you, you do, you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by green. Um, so I guess the reason that most people come to eat at Topiary is to be able to escape. We guarantee that everything we serve is, is as fresh as it possibly can be. We take a lot of pride in the coffee that we serve, in the wines and the beers that we source. Um, yeah, everything from food, beverage, there's just a lot of pride and a lot of love. And yeah, I think that's hard to find. So we have it here.